Stanford Racing Team tries to win the DARPA Grand Challenge. It's a collection of about 50 people from various companies like Mordevido, Volkswagen of America and Stanford University. And we built a car that is driven by some of the most advanced artificial intelligence currently on the market. Uh, what you see here is our car, Stanley. It's a off-the-shelf Touareg, just slightly modified to be strong enough for the race. It has a bumper in the front, it has skid plating underneath. And that's pretty much it. So it's basically a off-the-shelf uh, Volkswagen Touareg. Um, we've equipped it with all kinds of sensors on the roof. You see a laser system. A laser system allows us to scan the terrain ahead of the, robot, uh, the vehicle in 3D, just like a video game. At the center, very hard to see, you see a, a conventional camera. It works just like a television camera that's being used to produce television images. And then we have a radar system that can see things like parked vehicles 200 meters out, so quite a range. Um, inside the vehicle itself, uh, we've modified it a little bit to make it drivable by a um, computer. Uh, the Touareg is natively uh, throttle and uh, brake by wire, which means you just have to hack yourself into the Touareg to make it accelerate and decelerate. But for the steering itself, we have a little motor down here that attaches to the steering column and that really, really quickly can, can actuate the steering wheel. Then we've modified it to have a gear shifter that's important for backwards driving. So the thing over here, which usually attaches, uh, can automatically shift the gears. And then we have a little screen over here for startup procedures. That's it. Uh, the most important thing, however, is an emergency stop button. The vehicle is still street legal, which means we can just drive it on a regular road. And people can be inside during testing. So if something happens, we just hit that button. The most important thing of the car, however, is its brain. This is all about intelligence. It's about making a machine smarter, not stronger. So this is how, in 2005, car brains look like. They'll be much smaller in the future. It's a rack of six computers, essentially um, Pentium M, like laptop type computers down here. On top of it, we have a box where we can reset all the physical components, the sensors in software. So if a sensor fails, we can power cycle it. And then we have various small components. We have a power system over here, an emergency ESOP system required by the organizers of the race. We have an interface of the car itself over here. We have a GPS unit over here, and we have a power inverter over here. All this stuff works together. It runs all kinds of artificial intelligence algorithms for the control of the car. I can't show you the algorithms because they're inside the computer, but trust me, they have a really good chance to win at race day.